So guys, I put that little poll up yesterday. Um, only 10 people voted, but ten's enough, isn't it? And the Joker won, so I'm going to try and make the Joker. Although Frau Mekel <laughs> might have been easier. I mean, wouldn't need a lot of work to look like Frau Mekel, would it? You know what I mean? Can you see it? <laughs> But so I'm going to do the Joker, and Greta might have been interesting as well. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. And I'm going to show you this. You can see how this has got the biggest bulge here on this side. That little bit front. Reason being is there should be more flesh there for when I get down into the eyes and stuff like that. Now, this is a challenge for me because it's the first time I've tried to do anything that's supposed to be someone. So I'll get on with it. So, guys, tools of the trade. These are just simple homemade tools. These are the same as what people use for doing um, clay sculptures. I just made these because I'm too tight to buy them. And basically all they are is um, saw blades, different saw blades, junior axo, axo, um, so, <laughs> what do you call that, yeah? Jigsaw, table jigsaw, you know, type. And that one as well. Just Heating them up and bending them. So that's what I'm using. First, I've got to get this off, and hopefully, it won't be too tough. Plastic bag to put remains in until it goes in the compost, of course. Don't know how well this is going to work from your view or my point of view. As in the camera. Oh, this is quite tough, this one. I'll actually hide a green one. So, I've scraped all the skin off and I'm going to start with it. I'll try and film some of it, but I'll obviously show you the results anyway. I've got a picture of Joker up on the screen. This is the only pumpkin I could get, unfortunately. It would have been better if it were longer. Uh, I took the skin off the side that looked like it had most flesh on it and so the actual carving itself is probably going to be well can only be that big you know what I mean I will do my best So guys, I'm just roughing throughout this out, getting some material off, but I've noticed this flesh on this is really hard compared to the one I did last year. The actual flesh itself is a lot harder. So, well, there's no so, but it's just a little bit harder. <laughs> I'll get there. GoPro batteries run out, so that'll probably please you. So I'll just keep doing updates until I get enough charge, I might do a little bit more with GoPro but we're moving I've got to take a bit out of there try and get his nose more um, go a bit deeper with eyes his mouth, in the picture I've got his mouth's a little bit open and his teeth are showing and then I'll put his ears in because he's, he's, you can see his ears and his hair which is swept back obviously and I'll even paint this one so created myself a bit more depth here to widen his face out obviously it would have been better if it were a bit of a bigger pumpkin I might have gone a bit big with this but we will see it's not looking too bad I'm getting there just got his ears sort of in one's a bit low but I'm obviously I'm going to paint this as well, so it will look a bit different. Say, so, run out of forehead. His forehead should come to about there. 
I'm sure I can do some of So I think that's about as far as I'm going to go on carving. And his face is a little bit wide, but not a lot I can do about that. I'll paint it up, see what it turns out like. A bit of paint can make all the difference. A bit of paint covers a lot of ugly. You know when you're waiting for paint to dry? On a wet pumpkin, it takes even longer. So guys, I want to call that that. It didn't turn out too bad. As I said before, his face is a little bit fatter than probably could have been, but he didn't have the height on the pumpkin. Next year, I will write on the pumpkin, do not eat, because that one had to be bought and I couldn't get one for the shape. But. Yes. Anyway, don't forget, thumbs up, thumbs down, drop a comment in. And uh, never forget, it's nice to be nice. <laughs>